Commissioner. I was the Chief Commissioner at the time of Black Saturday, and so, but I had given notice and in fact was about two months into my sort of final time. I was finishing the following month in March. So I was then asked by the Prime Minister and the Premier would I run the Victorian Bushfire Reconstruction and Recovery Authority, VIBRA is what we called right. it for short. So about 12 months later when the Victorian um, Royal Commission into the bushfires had been running for about 12 months. Um, so for 12 months nobody spoke to me about about that. I, kept, I obviously worked on the recovery. We met and talked with the people from the um, Royal Commission but nothing was said and then relatively sort of short notice they said they wanted to talk to me and so um, and so it went so I you know went to the Commission and uh, and was found I guess you know wanting by the Commission that I should have stayed I was out of the, the kind of area the um, control authority for a short um, for a well, couple of hours and went to have a meal with friends and you know there were varieties of things that happened but I was criticized obviously during that Commission yep. and um, and I have to say it was quite devastating in many ways. It was, uh, it, it was, I was working really hard on the recovery and so not really paying enough attention. And I didn't get advice and I didn't even pick it myself, and I should have, that I was going to be the target. Right. And I'd watched the head of the, the uh, CFA be the target and I, well, I figured he was running the fire thing and, but he didn't deserve the criticism. And then of course, it all became obvious that, that somehow you know the commission had determined that I was the key sort of person who should have had responsibility and then some things they emphasized and highlighted you know about the way we should have been able to as though we could have stopped the fire as though we could have or the police or me particularly I think you know should have done better I didn't really realize the size of the fires I didn't realize what was going on we had a lot of police involved a lot of senior police were involved and I kind of didn't think I was adding any value so I guess that was a part of it mm. um, but but as we got to the Royal Commission, I should have been paying attention, but wasn't. Right, right. I wasn't really real, well prepared to respond and answer and to fight back in many ways about you know why I'd done what I'd done. But you can you go around in your head 97 times about could I have done this differently? Yeah. Did it really impact on you know on the people? You know, am I responsible for those people having died? I mean, I you know come to the view in the end that I'm not and I wasn't and I couldn't have done anything that would have actually you know, made a difference to many of them. And so it takes a while to get to that point. But I remember thinking, well, I better get out of the recovery authority and you know, just leave. And, um, but there was a function being held not long after that at uh, Federation Square by people from um, Kinglake. And they're a very musical group in Kinglake and they decided to run a Thank You Melbourne concert. And uh, they had asked me before this that, that sort of would I come down about nine o'clock at night and just kind of close the, the night off. And uh, anyway, I was at a, a, another dinner with the government and sort of rang the woman up who was one of the organisers and said, look, you know, there's been a lot of criticism this week and, you know, I just think probably I should just stay out of the media for a while and, and not come down. So I said, if you, do you mind if I don't come? And she said, yes, I do. And she said, we want you to come down and we want you to be able to thank you for what you've done for us and to tell the media to nick off and leave you alone. I said, right. I'll be there in five. <laughs> well, I said, I still, you know, are the media there? She said, oh, yes, they all know you're coming and they're all here. So anyway, we, um, I went, all right. So down I went and they got me on stage and, and pretty much said that, look, you know, look, Christine's been the one with us all along. You know, you've, you've, uh, she's listened to us, she's worked with us, she's cried with us.